everyone. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this raised herringbone stitch. Uh, I've classified it as the raised herringbone stitch so that it's not confused with the other herringbone stitches that are also found here on my channel. This is a wonderful textured stitch. All the texture is to one side, so there's the back of it. Uh, and once you get it set up and know what you're doing and where your stitches are going, it's a wonderful two row repeat. Today I'm going to be working this stitch with a little bit of the Pima cotton yarn by Lion Brand Yarn. It's a 100% cotton yarn as well as a 5 millimeter crochet hook. And you'll find links to both of these items in the description of this video. Also in the description is a link to the free written pattern, which is on my blog at ridgetexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and uh, take a look around. There's lots of other free stitch tutorials and crochet patterns. Our stitch today is worked in rows, so you're going to start by working a slip knot and then by making a foundation chain and your foundation chain today will need to be a multiple of six plus three stitches so today I'm going to chain a total of 21 there's 10 20 and 21 once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a half double crochet into that second chain from your hook and then into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row one, chain one and turn your work. For row two, you're going to work another row of half double crochet stitches. Your chain one does not count as a stitch, so half double crochet into that first stitch and then into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row two, chain one and turn your work. We're now going to start working some of those raised post stitches. So you're going to begin row three by working a half double crochet into the next stitch. Next, you're going to work a front post double treble stitch around the fourth, the, po uh, the post of the fourth stitch, two rows below. So count down and the row two rows below, one, two, three stitches. Then you have your fourth stitch and around the post work a front post double treble stitch. To work the front post double treble, you're going to yarn over three times, bring your hook down, insert your hook in front from in front through to the back, around the post, out the other side to the front again, yarn over and draw up a loop. You're then going to yarn over and pull through two loops four times. Now working back up top, you're going to skip the next stitch. So skip the stitch that is behind your post stitch and work a half double crochet stitch in each of the next four stitches. Next, working around the post, of the stitch that's directly next to your last post stitch two rows below work another front post double treble stitch so you're just one stitch over from your last post stitch work your front post double treble you'll now have this nice little V we want to repeat those stitches all the way across so work another front post double treble stitch. This time down below you're going to skip four stitches. 
So one, the two rows below, one, two, three, four. And around the post of the next stitch, work your front post, double treble stitch. Now up top, you'll want to skip the next two stitches because we've worked two front post stitches. Skip the next two and then half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. So you're kind of going back and forth working between these two different rows. Work your half double crochets in each of the next four and then you're going to repeat. Work a front post, double treble stitch, down in the next stitch, two rows below the next stitch uh, over from your previous post stitch. Skip the next four stitches down below in that row, two rows below, and work another front post, double treble. I didn't yarn over quite enough times there. You're gonna, going to repeat that all the way across up top, skip the next two stitches, work a half double crochet into each of the next four stitches, and continue that all the way across until you have two stitches remaining. When you have two stitches remaining, you're going to work one more front post double treble stitch. Skip the one stitch up top and half double crochet into your final stitch. Now as far as the repeat goes, that's all there is to this repeat. So for now on in the pattern, you're going to chain one, turn your work, repeat that row two with your half double crochets in each stitch all the way across, chain one, turn your work, and you're going to uh, repeat that row three. I'm going to work my half double crochet stitches here all the way across, and then I'll turn. It's really easy to see where your next uh, raised double treble stitches go, and so I'm just going to show you exactly where those stitches are when I come across. So I'm just working my half double crochets all the way across, working in every single stitch. So again, at the end of that half double crochet row, chain one and turn your work half double crochet, we're now going to repeat that row three, half double crochet into that first stitch. And now this time our post stitches are worked down in the same row that our previous post stitches were worked. And we're actually going to work them on the two middle stitches in the center of each V down below. So yarn over three times for your double treble. Then you have four stitches in between your two post stitches. So you're going to count into the second one and work your first front post double treble. Skip the stitch up top, work four half double crochet stitches. And then work another front post double treble in the stitch next to the one that you previously worked. So you should see that your little raised V's are going to land directly in the middle of the ones down below. So continue to repeat your rows two and three, fasten off, weave in your ends, and enjoy your raised herringbone stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe. If 
you need to, head on over to richtexturescrochet.com where, where you will find the written instructions for this tutorial. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Thank you.